What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Simply Reefing. We are here in New York City at New Jersey Secaucus, wherever you want to go ahead and label it. But we are actually at Reefapalooza, New York. So right now it is before the show even starts. This is going to be like a real behind the scenes is what goes on, what these guys are doing to get everything set up to go and put on a great show for you guys. We're gonna go and take a quick walk around as everybody's setting up things uh, in the background here. Uh, vendors are still putting stuff up. Folks, have, you know, they, they've got everything done already in most cases here. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna walk around, take a look at a couple booths and see what's going on. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and start from the front and then work my way around. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around, get you guys squared up and show y'all kind of what's going on so far. So hang tight. All right, guys, so we got the entrance right out here, what we're looking at right now. This is gonna be where everybody's gonna be lining up, cheering, carrying on, having a good time, waiting for the doors to open up. And here is pretty much the staging area where you're gonna have the lines. You're gonna come in, and as you can see right now, it looks completely empty currently. So this will be full of people. Just imagine everybody just getting ready to go into the show and get things started. Got my man Vic over here. Vic's ready for everybody tomorrow to come through. Okay. What's up? You got everybody here. This is where you're gonna go ahead and get your check-in for your diamond pass, your ultimate pass, your one days, and everything else. So it's gonna go coming through the front entrance here of Reefa Palooza. As you guys can see, that's where everything was back there and swing this around got your reef hobbyist magazine booklets here that you guys probably will be able to pick up these doors will definitely be open for you guys to come through and boom boom definitely won't be a whole bunch of boxes and everything laid around but you know what this is what happens when you know the behind the scenes of what's going on with everybody setting things up here so i'm going to do my usual scoot off to the right here and see what's going on we got beautiful corals their booth and table set up they've done so much they just left they're gone it's ready to go we got daniel's corals we got fluval like i said gonna try to make this as quick as possible here we got some more folks over here setting up things we got uh, speed reefer corals Got some awesome things going on there. We'll check them out once we get everything squared away. But like I said, folks are still getting things set up. Case in point, got a tank here, completely empty. My guy's getting things all laid out so we can go ahead and get those on display for you. We got folks over here just grubbing away. We got vendors still setting up lights, making sure everything looks nice and tidy. Got a whole lot of water everywhere and a whole lot of mess happening right now. As you can see, looks like we have a whole uh, Reef of Palooza booth that's going to be set up here for all of the apparels and everything else. As you guys can see, look, it's ready to go. It's in the rack. All they got to do is take it out the rack or take, it, take the plastic off the rack and then get it over to you guys. Pop Coral, my man, he's already done. The booth is ready. All he's got to do is cut the lights on tomorrow and get everything going. Check this out right here look at this on the white light that's what it looks like so imagine now when they hit the blue lights on and they start glowing let me see what what else we got going on here we got some beautiful clams looks like it's like some different variety of clams going on in here but hey we're still setting up things we got david's aquariums he's setting up stuff over here we still got what we got pieces of paradise you guys have probably seen them before same thing here we got some clams going on so if you guys are into the clams there we go we got some uh looks like zoas again everything's closed up because the lights are off right now in these tanks but as you can see what they look like without any day glow blue going on with it you got some really nice cars but once you hit them with the lights everything should be nice and popping as you can see these elegance pink tip elegance Look at those pink tip elegants, man. But like I said, we got vendors that are already set up and we got some, they're still, still getting things going. Sorry about that. But let's see, real quick, we are going to 
take a look at what we have here. Look at this. Look at these torches. All of these torches will be ready for tomorrow. And this is first class aquariums. We got a lot of things happening here too. We got a lot of flow going on. We got some goniopores. We got a lot of mushrooms. You guys can see them here. There we go. We got some more things. I think these, what are these? Uh, the tiger torches are here also, looks like. Yep, those are tigers. Those are tiger torches in here. Look at all these tigers, man. Got Joe Exotic running around here soon. All right. So that's one way. Let's see. I'm going to actually see if I can spin around. Let's see what we got. We got Ultimate Corals. You guys are still getting set up. Beautiful, beautiful. What's the link on that stream? We're going to uh, be on Simply Reef. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. So, Simply Reef. Yes, called? sir. Simply right. Reef. I'm going to find the link. I got like eight customers that want me to buy shit for them. So. Yeah. Simply all right. Reef. All right. Definitely. Simply Reef, Gary. I got Simply Reef. Simply Reef. Yep. All right. So let's see. Let's fix this here. We'll get this back on track. Here we go. We got some more folks getting their corals ready to go for tomorrow. We got people moving boxes out of here. We got things happening. We got my guy Joe over here. He's got the booth all set up, still getting things all tidied up, as you guys can see. What do we got going on in here? We got a lot of corals that you guys are going to see tomorrow. And if you don't see them tomorrow, definitely a lot of these vendors do have stuff available online. So definitely type their name in on the website and you can pull it up and get you some beautiful cores there as you guys can see all the raffle stuff all along the back wall not even labeled not even ready to go yet but you know what by tomorrow they'll be good to go coral reef connections my man's still playing with the sticks getting them nice and tidy for you guys get them all set up here what we got in the tank we got blasto we got some sps we got a lot of beautiful things going on here still getting stuff set up and that's what we're going to do right now mic checks going on we got josh checking to make sure everything's still glowing in his booth and as we can see it is still glowing right now we have all the beautiful zoas that he does carry shining brightly here and doing well we got sunglasses and we got a lot of things going on here in his booth but definitely 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 just gonna go ahead and keep making my way around what else we got over here? We got Chandler Rock and aquascaping. Looks like they do a lot of aquascaping and stuff. So there's a whole booth here. We'll be able to probably go ahead and get to do a nice talk with them tomorrow. So we can see a little bit more in detail. Let these guys set up their stuff here and we'll talk with them tomorrow and check it out and see what's going on. We got wet pets. They definitely got a setup going on here too at some point. But like I said, still brand new right now. We're still doing, uh, you know, initial setup. So we'll just take a trip around. Look at this. This is how these things come in, man. These guys bring them in. Beautiful corals in bags, though. Look at this. Look at these symphilias and welsies and things like that. Look. Look, we have a whole container just full of torches. Just ready to go. Once they put the water in, they'll get it laid up and it's good to go. We got dirks. If you guys don't know dirks, if you need supplies when you're at this show, if you need anything, we got, hang on, we gotta let this guy roll by with this noisy thing. We got your epoxy sticks, we have tongs, we have pointers, we have more thongs, we have rag plugs. Everything that you need is available here. You even got your additives, we got alkalinity, carbon, and all of that stuff just ready and available. You have amino acids and we got bags of goodies all around at the table here at Dirk's I think he even's got he even has some of these new desk mates these are actually pretty cool I saw one over at eShop's booth um, set up and we'll probably go and take a look at that too but let's see what else is going on like I said everybody's still getting set up Coral King came by earlier. He had a lot of beautiful things uh, under the lights. Everything was nice and glowing, as you can see. Some of these things without the lights, they still look beautiful. Let's see, let's look back at that meat coral there. That one, I will tell you, when the light hit it, 
hits it, it is beautiful. So we'll just keep going, take a look. We got Brightwell Aquatics. They are still setting up stuff over here, getting ready for you guys for tomorrow to go ahead and answer any questions that you have and possibly provide you guys with some nice goodies. Well, let's see, BSA Corals is here. They're still getting stuff set up. Now, since it is a first day of the show, we did have a lot of folks come in really early to go ahead and pick up some stuff. So we, you'll see a lot of folks still here um, actually making purchases and buying, you know, items. So, uh, let's see, Hannah Instruments, they're doing their thing. They actually have a customer here at their booth. And let's see, we got Saltwater Aquariums. They are setting everything up. You guys can see they have the new Hannah Instruments here also too on deck. They have the magnesium and I think what is that's the uh, ammonia. So they should be good to go when you guys come in. That's the that's the going price or that's the show price on the 59? That's going price, that's show the going price, price. 55. 55 all, during the show. The well. All right, all right. So definitely if you guys, everything is on sale. Normal price is 10% off this whole weekend until Monday. Nice. So if you guys want to deal on anything from saltwater aquariums, go ahead and check them out. What you see here is what you do get. I hope you guys love it. We'll come over here. We got a couple more things. Actually, let me spin around. Here goes one of the speaker areas right in the back. They'll just give you a little peek at that. But here's one of those things I always look at when I'm at these shows. And this is Julian Sprong's Two Little Fishies booth. Um, he always brings this mangrove plant. And it has definitely, definitely been growing for years, as you guys can tell. Beautiful specimen. A lot of his products are right here. The Remag, the Reborn. We have the Sand. We have the sand, the remag, the reborn. Let me see, get this around here. And what else do we have? We have a lot more things going on. He is still setting stuff up, making sure it looks nice and perfect for you guys when everybody comes in. And we'll take a look at this other mangrove plant that he has going on here. Like I said, this is just a real quick walk around of everything going on currently right now behind the scenes and Let's skip on over. I think there was a couple more booths that I wanted to go in and show you guys, you know, as they were setting things up. I think one of them here is uh, Clearwater Scrubbers. As you guys can see, they got their new design and their new uh, Clearwater Scrubber system right now. We'll take a look at it. I'm Ukrainian, of course I want the plastic. You can bring it Look at this. And even then, he's got a whole sack at the bottom. All the different sizes available, all down here, ready for you guys to see. So, be sure to go in and check them out when you come to the show. Let's see. You know, it's a madhouse here at times for me to walk around. There is so much to see and so much to enjoy and take in that sometimes things to get over, overlooked. There was a booth. I think it was the Elos booth. I wanted to stop by there. Yes, here we go. There it is. So we got the Elos booth over here. I'm gonna stop by real quick. You see, they're getting ready. They're getting the Acroche rock set up. They're getting all those taken care of. There's Francois. We got a beautiful uh, display set up here for a nice cube tank. That would be gorgeous for anybody's home. And we got a couple of the lights and their one gallon systems. And here we go, we have one that is currently full of rock flower anemones. We even have a nice thong here, probably pretty much something that they got from over at Dirk's. And check this out, guys. We have this little, I'm gonna say it's probably like two and a half gallons or so. Let's get it in focus here. Like, she does like workout videos, she does like squats through the camera. <laughs> like, she knows. There we go. Hold on. I have a picture of him and uh, we're in the level together. All right. So we didn't get that in focus, but like I said, we got a lot of things going on in the booth here. We got all the, a lot of silliness happening around the booth. But you know what? Like I said, this is before the show even starts. 
So I just wanted to go on and give you guys that look at everything. Now, here's an interesting booth. Very interesting. Laws Tropical Garden. So we have fresh, we have plants pretty much. I'm not even gonna call them freshwater plants. I don't even know why, but they are beautiful plants. You guys can see along with corals. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. We got a lot going on. She's still got some more stuff. Some more stuff she's gonna unbox. So we'll let that happen. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I think there's a couple more booths here. There was one, one more that I needed to stop at and I believe that was Frost's booth. He actually told me he had some blastos uh, that were really special here for this show. So let's go and take a look at those. Let's see. And he told me it was here, so we got one here. Got another one in the back. It's not fully open as of right now, so we'll probably try to get another shot of it tomorrow. And we have some, again, when you guys see him at the show, just know that there's a lot of beautiful cores coming in. There's a lot of color and a lot of variety. So let's see, I think that's really it as far as coverage, as you guys can tell. I am moving the camera everywhere, which is not appealing to a lot of people, but this is what we got going on. We have Neptune still setting up their stuff, getting things tidied up and put together. We have a lot, like I said, a lot of the vendors are still setting up, but this is what goes on at these shows before the doors open. It's pretty much just a madhouse and everybody's trying to get everything done as quickly as they can to get out of here. So here goes the eShops booth. Like I said, they had this really nice setup. Let's see, for their Deskmate tank. As you can see, it's still, you know, going, got a lot of little micro bubbles going on with it. And we have a lot of their accessories on the side. We have this media basket, Looks like a lot of these corals were donated by uh, Coral King. So if you do see them here, you can probably get this whole setup with the corals uh, for a really good price. Let's see, what else do we have going on? We have another deskmate, uh, a couple of items from what they carry in house. And that's pretty much it. Um, actually, no, we got the sumps over here. We got their sump, sump lineup from eShops. So that is what we have going on here. And I'm spinning all around the place because I am trying to figure out which aisle did I go down and which aisles did I not go down. But as you can tell, there are some people still getting things set up, but that's pretty much going to be it for my video here on the kind of like behind the scenes of the show. I didn't want to bother anybody while they were trying to get set up. Honestly, I went ahead and helped out one of my friends um, set up their booth and that can be really annoying. When you got people bugging you and you're trying to get everything set up in the tank as quick as possible. Like, look at this. Just here. Yeah, we'll get to it. It'll, it'll, it'll get set up by tomorrow. When everybody comes to look at corals, it'll be good to go. So, you got folks, look. He's already got everything set up to the point where he's just chilling right now. But hey, it is what it is. And we will cut it for today. Until the next video, you guys take it easy. I will see you guys tomorrow at the show. Peace.